Hello dear friends, this is Joel Humphreys again, and I'm sure so glad to have opportunity to say a word to you about a five or ten minute message on the YouTube, and I praise God that they're going out all over the world, and I pray the God's Spirit will bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. I speak to you because I believe God's called me to it, just a five or ten minute message, and I'm titled this, Get Rid of Worry. <clears throat> Get Rid of Worry. Somebody told me one time when I said that, he said I might get, might as well get rid of living. <laughs> and that's true. We, we, we worry too much. I worry too much. I have to ask God to forgive me often for worrying about something. And so we must learn not to worry. But why should we not worry? The Bible tells us why. Over in the book of, uh, of Psalms 50, uh, 54, 55 and verse 17, it says one thing you need to do is pray more. Pray more. We need to talk to God more. If you're worried about something, take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. The Bible says, Evening and morning and at noon I will pray, and I will cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. And so here the psalmist says that we should pray morning, evening, and noon all the time. And that all through the day, we should pray at night when we go to bed. Pray. Take your troubles to the Lord. And and then when you do that, he's going to bless you. Cast your burden. This is in verse 22. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved, and all, oh, praise God, to fail or fall away. He's there to help you. He's going to give you strength to keep going. He's going to help you stand up when you feel like that you can't make it. He's going to give you peace when you're facing pain. He's going to give you love. When out there it seems like everything has left you. But you'll find and follow him and you're going on to victory. God's with you and you're going to make it. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And try to get rid of worry. When you start worrying about something, just say, Lord, forgive me. I'm turning this over to you. Over well, in the Bible again, we find in the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, some verses very good in this matter. In verse 6 through 7 it says, Be careful and worried about nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your prayer requests known to God. And then the peace of God, who passes all understanding, will keep your heart, mind, through Christ Jesus. So here he's saying, don't worry about anything. And then he tells us how to get rid of worry. He says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication, prayer and supplication pray and then he says with thanksgiving try to learn to be thankful for everything now here's a difficult thing but we need to be thankful even for that problem you're facing I know it's something that's difficult for you to do and you can't really do it under the reasonable thinking of the flesh the world says that's preposterous but the Bible says it's time if you're worried about something that's hurting you you're worried about something that's breaking your heart be thankful to God for it. Pray to God and say, Lord, I don't like this, but I want to thank you for it because you've allowed it to happen and I'm going to accept it. And I'm praying that you will answer my prayer and find a way to get me through it because I'm going to thank you for it. Thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. I'm, I'm walking with a limp because I fell and twisted my ankle and I hurt my hip. Didn't break it, but praise God, I'm walking on a walker. Well, I, I'm walking, I'm praying God that he's healed me, but I'm still thankful because he's teaching me something. He's teaching me what other people are going through on walkers and wheelchairs. He's teaching me how to look up. And I time of trouble and others say, well, if the preacher can be hurt, I'm, I'm, I'm in good company. I'm hurt too. We need to pray and thank God for everything that you can. And then we know that the answer will come. Over in uh, First Peter, the fourth chapter, verse one and two, it says, "For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, we ourselves ought to be willing to suffer, and to know that we were suffering in the will of God, that He should no longer live the rest of His life in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God." And so suffering was all already presented to us in the life of Jesus Christ. He was a person who suffered. He was a man of grief, acquainted with grief and of sorrow. Oh, he was, he suffered. He suffered so much in his life. Then he suffered so much on that cross 
when he died for you and for me, paid for our sins and rose again, and gives us life and love and hope, and therein, therein we are saved and saved forever. Trust in him and know that he who died for you and rose again suffered for you, that we might learn to suffer with him. And then our sufferings will bring reward. And in our sufferings we will reign with him. And in our sufferings we will learn what he's teaching us, how to live more like he lived. And so thank God for your suffering, dear friend. Thank God for your suffering. C.S. Lewis has said that and God commands us to glorify Him. And what He's saying is He wants you to enjoy Him. And I think that's true. When He wants you to glorify Him and love Him, He does that because you, He wants you to enjoy Him. He, he loves you. He wants to bless you and give you strength and for you to realize, rely on Him and know the truth that God has set you free and love Him because He loves you and then begin to enjoy Him, to enjoy and rejoice in His love for you, to know that it's never too late to turn to Him. You can do a lot of things, dear friend, I know, but you need to come to this place where you say, Lord, I'm turning my life over to You. I am going to, I am going to just turn my life. I'm going to turn away from self and deny myself and let you take over and try to live and do the thing that pleases you in the strength that God gives me. This is a way to get rid of worry. Trust in God. Pray. Read your Bible. Deny old self. Be thankful for everything. And go on praising God because you love Him and you're born again. And you're on your way to heaven. Now if you haven't prayed a pray prayer with me, pray this prayer with me in closing that you should be sure that you're on your way to heaven. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me and paid for all my sins upon the cross at Calvary. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Oh, praise God. Pray that prayer like that. And the Lord will save you. You'll know you're going to heaven. Find your good church and go to and worship with God's people. And may the Lord be your strength. Remember, do your best daily to get rid of worry. Amen.